apparently this area, people just put dump outside, trash outside. I'm trying to find like an old, like rustic drum set. There's dumpsters over here that they just give away pallets and stuff at. It's over here. Yo. Hey, man. Hey, get your kid over here. Yeah, top of the line stuff. Top of the line. Oh, yeah. Would you sell it? I'm, I'm trying to shoot a video. It's kind of my only kit. <clears throat> so, Your only uh, drum set? How often do you play it? Pretty often. <laughs> As you can see, it's been through a lot. I see that. Top man. of the line, though. When when'd you buy it? Can you, can you show me it? Yeah, it's been a couple years. What did what'd you use this for? No gigging. <laughs> gigging? <laughs> yeah. Dang. For those of y'all that don't know, this is the drum the drumpreneur. What's it called? The, the drum, drum sultan? The drum <laughs> the drum <laughs> The drum sultan, Nate Tesla. I mean I guess I am a drumpreneur. Heavy this is. Dang. 250 though. That's <laughs> not bad. Sounds good. That's so filthy. You said there's an XLR port that you literally can just plug in. What's your interface? Eight? Eight. Your interface is an eight channel? Basically, my little warehouse place is like 12 minutes on the street from here. So if you like, we can just put them in the back and you can get them tomorrow? Or later? Or, oh, gotcha. I could drop off what's in my trunk now and come straight back. Yeah, you want to go do that real quick and then we'll, we'll take care of the yeah. getting the payment yep. when you come back? Yeah, I will. I'll see you in a minute. Okay. All right, we need a little rundown of what we're doing. Basically, we packed the car for a video shoot tomorrow with a helicopter. And then Nate wants to go, Dr. Symbol wants to go to the drum shop and look around and so he's like looking at drumsticks we go upstairs went upstairs to look at cymbals that's where they have more drums and then like this drum set in there caught my eye that sounds so weird <laughs> caught my eye basically we're unloading this kit piece of junk and we're getting this kit like right now y'all are gonna have to see what this is for tomorrow. How did you want it landing? Yeah, I, ideally, I think it was uh, like, if it could be kind of behind the kit. Another thing I mentioned, we could always put the wheels on it and okay. push it behind it, you know, and the blades could still be spinning. Okay. We can get a shot of him landing. Yeah. And we can also have the helicopter running, but on the ground, and that doesn't create any wind. Okay. Know? I can just come in and do the landings all day long. We may want to pull the trailer out of there just for the shot. So maybe in this other square here? Would that yeah, be? somewhere over here, or even it could be all the way up to the end. It doesn't really matter. So um, you're going to come in landing facing that tree line? Yep. Where? Kit could be like in that square you're actually parked in, yeah. facing the tree line. Yep. And then you park and you. Landed behind it. Coming in almost land, a little bit closer than the red one is. Yeah, or I don't want to blow away any symbols. <laughs> yeah, no. If it happens, it happens. Yeah. I mean, they fall off from time to time anyway. So.